This video will go over the assembly of the MFT 4x8G folding trailer, one of the most versatile and reliable trailers on the market. To assemble, you'll need two 16 to 21 millimeter wrenches or sockets, a Phillips head screwdriver, a rubber mallet, and pliers. The front of the trailer will have the red clips. Secure the middle of the halves with two bolts and nuts. This will keep the halves in place during the assembly. Note, all bolts and nuts will be tightened after all are attached. Next, attach the eight stake pockets with the M10 by 20 bolts and nuts. You can see the location of the eight stake pockets now. Be sure that the base is facing up. Remember, you're assembling upside down. Get all stake pockets hand tightened to the side rails. After all stake pockets are attached, it's time to assemble the hinge. You'll want to prop up the center of the trailer to give you some space for the hinge to be assembled. You'll need the hinges and 5 M10 by 20 bolts and nuts for each side. First, secure the outside hinge to the frame. The outside hinge will be in the back side of the trailer. Secure it with two bolts and nuts. Slide the inside hinge behind the outside and secure to the trailer. Use a nut and bolt to attach both hinges. Repeat these steps on the opposite side for the other hinge. Now tighten all the nuts and bolts from step 1. Step 2. Draw Bar Assembly For this step you'll need the tow bar plate, the coupler base, two tow bars, 12 hex M10 by 20 bolts and nuts, two hex M10 by 30 bolts and nuts, two hitch pins and R clips, two hex M12 by 25 hex bolts, and two side rails. First, secure the sidebars. You'll need the M10 by 30s and the M12 by 25 bolts and nuts. Place the sidebar at the front of the rail and hand tighten bolts and nuts. Repeat on the other side. Next, place the draw bars at the front of the trailer like so. Fit the draw bar into the U-slot on the front of the trailer. Secure with the M12 by 25 bolts and nuts to the side bar. Repeat on the opposite side. Now connect the hitch pins and R-clips to the U-slots. Do this on both sides. Next, you'll connect the T-plate and coupler base. Place the coupler base below the tow bars. Secure with 6 hex M10 by 20 bolts and nuts. Connect the T-plate on top of the tow bars with 4 hex M10 by 20 bolts and nuts. Tighten all bolts and nuts from step 2 with the wrenches. Step 3. Spring Hanger Assembly For this step, you'll need two spring hangers, four hex M10 by 20 bolts and nuts, four carriage bolts M10 by 25 and nuts, and two hex M10 by 30 bolts and nuts. First position the spring hanger towards the back of the trailer with the bracket facing outside toward the back of the trailer. Now secure the spring bar to the frame, attach the carriage bolts and hex bolts. Repeat these steps on the other side. Tighten bolts and nuts with the wrenches. Step 4. Spring Axle Assembly for these steps, you'll need two spring plates, the axle, two three leaf springs, four bolt M10 by 85 bolts and nuts, and four hex M14 by 85 bolts and nylock nuts. Place the three leaf spring into the spring hanger with the eye facing the front of the trailer. Secure with hex M13 by 85 bolts and nylock nuts. 
Repeat on the other side. Next, place the axle over the pegs on the three leaf springs. Fasten the axle to the springs with the U-bolts, spring plate, and tighten with M10 by 85 nuts. Repeat on the opposite side. Tighten all nuts and bolts from step four. Step five, fender kit assembly. For this step, you'll need two fender brackets, two fenders, and eight hex M10 by 20 bolts and nuts. First, attach the brackets to the fenders with four bolts and nuts. Fasten the fender bracket to the spring hanger with the M10 by 20 bolts and nuts. Tighten with wrenches and repeat on the other side. Step 6. Tire Assembly For this step, you'll need two tires and two cotter pins. First, remove the hub cap with the small pry bar. We use the flathead screwdriver and rubber mallet. Remove the castle nuts and washers from the axle ends. Slide the tire onto the axle with the lug nuts facing outward. Install the washer and castle nut to the axle. Hand tighten the castle nut, then tighten as much as you can with the wrench. Loosen the castle nut, then hand tighten again and use the wrench again to verifiably tighten. Ensure the hole is accessible for the cotter pin, ideally by loosening gradually, not by tightening. Note, the tightening process is to settle the bearings into the hub in order to reduce overheating from friction. After it's tight, it's time to install the cotter pin. When the cotter pin is installed, reinstall the hub cap and secure with a rubber mallet. Repeat these steps on the other side to complete the tire assembly. Step 7. Caster Assembly For this step, you'll need four casters, two caster brackets, and four hex M10 by 20 bolts and nuts. Connect the caster bracket to the back bracket on the spring hanger with the M10 by 20 bolts and nuts. Connect two casters to the caster bracket. Tighten all bolts and nuts with wrenches. Repeat on the other side. Step 8. Lighting Kit Installation For this step, you'll need the license plate holder, two rear lights, two light brackets, four hex M10 by 20 bolt and nuts, two side running lights, and the side running light 4mm mounting set. When installing the lighting, the trailer can be upright or upside down. This install is demonstrated installing upright. Begin with installing the back brake light. Attach the light bracket to the side rail with the M10 by 20 bolts and nuts. Tighten with the wrenches. Remove the nuts from the back of the rear lights. Green wires go on the passenger side of the trailer and yellow wires go on the driver side of the trailer. Be sure to get this placement correct so that your turn signals work properly. Place the license plate bracket on the light. Now mount the rear light to the lighting bracket. Secure the nuts and tighten. Repeat this step on the opposite side of the trailer for the other rear light. Next, we'll install the side running lights. Place the side running lights on the side rail. Mount using the four millimeter screws from the side running light mount set. Use a screwdriver and a wrench to secure. Repeat on the opposite side to finish the side running lights. Step nine, plug and play wire installation. For this step, you only need one thing, the plug and play wire kit. Pick up from the four pin connector. There are two main strands that go off this point, green and yellow. 
You want the green to go to the passenger side and the yellow to go to the driver's side. Feed the wire through the tow bar going to the undercarriage of the trailer. On the bottom side of the trailer there are clips to secure the wire. You will need a small pry bar or screwdriver to secure the wire. After the wire is in place, running all the way to the back brake lights, connect the white connectors from the black wire and side lights. Then connect the white connectors from the black wire and rear lights. A good tip for preserving your wire connectors is to coat them with a small amount of petroleum jelly. This increases the lifespan and durability of the connectors. Make sure you test before hitting the road. Step 10. Attaching the coupler. For this step, you'll need a 2-inch coupler, two M12 by 80 bolts and nuts. The trailer will also need to be upright to complete this step. Be sure to use the safety chains when in use. Attach the coupler to the coupler base. Secure with the M12 by 80 bolts and nuts. Tighten with wrenches. Your trailer is now assembled. If you have any questions, contact our trained customer service team and support technicians. Forge your own path with DK2.